Look closely and tell me what you see. Garbage or trash? Oh well, we see differently. What we see are diamonds in the rough, raw and recyclable materials. We see money, money and more money lying fallow around Lagos streets, blocking gutter. disposal is one of the major environmental problems that developing countries are faced with. Health hazard, traffic congestion, unsightliness, unpleasantness and blockage of drainages are some of the problems caused by the lack of efficient waste management practice in Nigeria. Although the recycling industry in Lagos is still largely informal, but operators in the sector have found different aspects in the value chains to plug into the point of waste collection from households, advocacy, sorting to eventual recycling. Okay, as an individual, if you want to go into the Waste to World project, you have to first figure out where you would like to um, be. Is it in the collection sector? 
Is it in the recycling section? Is it in the waste management section? Is it in the advocacy section? Is it in the education? So you have to be able to find where you want to fall into. Over the years, the Lagos State Government has developed a unique way through past and present governors to manage this problem and have achieved tremendous amounts of success. The products that could be recreated from recyclable materials are enormous, from limitless fancy cotton dresses, jerseys, carpets, bags, and so on. The Piotr bags. The bags I used to package um, the PET bottles and um, um, I am tins that you buy can be recycled back to poly bags. Some can be used to make um, rubber slippers. One of those exploring the limitless possibilities from scrap materials is Metal Sculptor or Bayuana Augustin, a fine arts graduate of Aochi Polytechnic, Edo State, who shares foray into the world of metal sculpting. I didn't come to Lagos for my art. I was planning to travel abroad. So the day I went to embassy, they denied me visa. A friend of mine called me. This was my classmate. He said I should come and see him here. That's inside National Theatre. I came. He was doing a walk. And I saw what he was doing and I like it. So I knew that I can always do that because that's what I studied as well. From that day, I made up my mind that I'm not going back to Benin. I was doing something else, but it was uh, Mama Nikkei that really drew my attention to it. So I used to do some work for her. So she now said I should add some fan object to it. So that was how the OT started as of 2018. I, I buy from different markets. I buy from Orili, I buy from uh, Ijora. Sometimes I also see some as I'm walking. Even, I, even if when I'm walking, even if I'm wearing a suit and I saw better, I would just pick it, I'll keep it in my pocket because it's very important to me. In the similar vision of creating wealth from waste, Tony Adedigba, a specialist at transforming cow horns into fanciful household items, throws more light on waste to wealth. Naturally, they will come in this one. And at the end of the day, I will take them to the machine. I have my machine over there where I will scrape them, design whatever I want to design on them, take it back to the machine and call them out in my ship. When I say ship, the ship of anything that I want it to be, being collage or key holder, necklaces and some other stuff like that. Lagos, under the Babajide Sonwolu's administration, through the leadership of Ibrahim Adejumo Odumboni, is turning the tide with the establishment of Loma Academy, where Lagosians are trained on science of solid waste management. The academy is not running in isolation. The academy is just a unit in Loma. But because we want to take waste management education to the next level, we have to come up with this academy. We are running a partnership with academic institution of learning. Although a billionaire wealth industry, the recycling industry is one with enormous potential, but more still needs to be done in the area of sensitization and community engagement. However, to further highlight the good works of a Lagos state governor, Babajide Sonwolu, it will be imperative for the state to advance for a legal framework that legislate policies that would legalize municipal waste collection and recycling as a formal profession. That way, more Lagosians will take waste collection seriously and our environment will be better for it.